into this week's edition of Maverick Insider. I'm Rob Clark, joined alongside head coach of the Minnesota State soccer team, Brian Ball. Coach Jenny Vetter going to play over in Portugal. And just how exciting is it to see a player get that opportunity, especially considering the career she put together here at MSU? Yeah, I'm just I'm really happy for Jenny. She's worked so hard for it and put in so much uh, so much extra time to to try to continue this uh, run in her career and just excited that she's been given this opportunity. Um, and, you know, I think she's going to thrive and shock them over there at, uh, you know, how uh, how amazing her pace obviously is, but more importantly, her work ethic and the type of person she is. So they're, they're really lucky to be getting getting, a, uh, getting someone as quality as Jenny. Where does she rank among MSU goal scorers? Is she one of the best that you've seen come through this program? Oh, no doubt. Absolutely. I mean, uh, she's our only three-time All-American, um, and, you know, she uh, she built that uh, by putting goals in the back of the net, and, uh, you know, she's uh, continued to thrive throughout her time with us and was just such a difference maker in our program in so many ways beyond even scoring goals, but absolutely one of the most prolific goal scorers we've ever had, and, uh, you know, it's tough to replace that, so it's always a somewhat of a nightmare each night you go to sleep thinking about who's going to score goals, and so, uh, you know, but she set a great example for, you know, those that will follow, and uh, it'll be fun to see who kind of goes and does that a lot of fun to watch whether it was here at Mankato East the WPSL for Mankato United what do you think that that program and Mankato United has really meant to the development of the players here at uh, MSU yeah I mean WPSL has been a great addition to to the community and obviously it's it's benefited our program greatly we've had countless players go through it uh you know Russ and Ludke who who leads the charge on that does a fantastic job and um you know it's uh it's just an opportunity for our kids to to be in a good training environment over the course of the summer uh play against uh some really high level competition and I think just keep their uh you know keep their game sharp as they they lead into August then so it's been phenomenal and uh we're excited about uh where that's going so when you look at this summer what are some of the things that really excite you about this 2023 MSU women's soccer team? Yeah, you know, we'll go from ex an extremely veteran group. Uh, you know, we had five fifth-year players last year, and, and we'll have some of that this year too, and that, that's exciting. Um, but, uh, you know, I think we've got a group that, is ready for opportunity uh, and you know they've kind of had to wait some of them uh, quite a long time and so I think we've got some some on this roster right now that are very eager for that opportunity and I'm excited to see what they'll do uh, we'll like I said we will be young overall uh, and probably one of the more inexperienced teams we've had and sometimes that can be really exciting because uh, you know they get to go out and kind of form uh, you know who we're going to be and, and shape who we're going to be uh, together as a group uh, as we go into this next era the Jenny uh, after Jenny era so <laughs> Should be fun. Thank you so much for joining me, Coach Ball. We'll be back with more Maverick Insider next week. Same time, same place. Thanks so much for watching.